Ow! <laughs> I actually just put my foot in a uh, stinging nettle, uh, which is quite ironic because we're going to talk about health and physical health and the interplay between our physical health and our mental health. And I've been experiencing long COVID for the last 12 months. So a physical health challenge characterized by chronic fatigue, nausea, and just killer headaches that last for days. And that has really affected my mental well-being and, and my ability to manage my mental well-being, my ability to exercise. But we cannot think of our physical health and our mental health as separate. No, no, they're together. We're interlinked. We have to look at the whole body and mind experience, okay? Now, if we're experiencing a physical health challenge, then this will affect our mental health, okay? So things like being stressed or feeling stressed about a condition. Um, if we're physically in pain, we can make, it's difficult to make well-being choices to practice self-care. We can lack motivation. It can make things like exercise difficult or even impossible in certain cases. Um, and, and we can ruminate on that health condition. Um, there's obviously a direct link with, with um, health anxiety. Um, so anxiety and ruminating over uh, physical threats or perceived threats to us. So uh, our physical and our mental health are completely um, intertwined and interlinked. Now, if we're suffering from a, a chronic or an ongoing physical health challenge, what can we do to stay well mentally? So the simple answer is we do what we can. And it might be a bit more difficult, but actually investing the time in being intentional about our mental well-being can help with the physical challenge. So making sure we're eating well, making sure that we're not resorting to comfort food and, and, and getting that nutrition into, into our body that we might need to help us recover or help with that management of the condition. Being properly hydrated, not resorting to alcohol to overcome the perceived and the, the real mental challenges that we might be facing. Um, really looking at how we can build exercise into our routine. I personally have had to totally realign my expectations where exercise are concerned and take small steps to build exercise into my game back again. And, and three years ago, I was riding the Tour de France route on a bike. So um, realignment and, and, and with this comes um, a sense of acceptance, accepting where we're at and accepting what we can do and doing what we can. OK, so a few little tips there to, to help um, manage our mental well-being. I think the overarching thing for me is kindness, self-kindness, being kind to oneself. Because if we're experiencing physical health challenges, then we've got a lot going on. And beating ourselves up about what we can or what we can't do, what we want to be doing, what we used to be able to do and what we think we should be doing, it's noise, right? And it's not helpful. Whereas what is helpful is being kind to ourselves and saying, this is okay. This is not where I want to be. It's not where I hope to be, but it's okay that I'm in this position and I'm dealing with it. Now, that might seem counterintuitive where, where something is very physically wrong with us, but actually that period of acceptance allows us to move forward and allows us to build up the kind of mental reserves to deal with it. And I've had some very empowering conversations with people that manage pain, that people manage a physical challenge, and it's quite inspiring. But I think acceptance is a common theme that I hear. So accepting where we're at, accepting what we can do, being very, very in the moment, um, and then taking those small steps, okay? So I wish you good health. And if we are dealing with a challenge, um, I wish you good management of that challenge, but prioritise your self-care. Thank you.